Okay, this is my first Photoshop tutorial, and I'll be showing you guys how to make the urban ink photo effect. I've edited this image before, and I say it looks pretty nice, and it does. And it's really easy to do. I'll be using this image today of this dancer. And see how the background is mostly white? It works better with a black background. And it has a shadow, so that's helpful too. So we'll open up Photoshop, click File, Open, find your image. It's called Image 5. Open it. And then it's pretty small, so I click magnifying glass and make the image a bit larger. We'll have to lock this layer. Yours, your layer should be locked, but mine isn't because there's something wrong with my Photoshop. So right click this and click duplicate layer and name it layer 1. <coughs> and then this has the locked icon. So I'll just unlock it. Yours will be unlocked, probably. So now what we have to do is go to image, adjustments, threshold and it's black and white now we have to move this input slider to the left so the image so we can see the dancer's shadow and we can see parts of his clothing and body so it should look something like this I'm gonna be putting it to 57 and it should look something like this bit of his arms visible and there's the shadow click OK and right click this layer and go to blending options come to this bottom and hold alt and move white and to left I'm gonna put it to 157 or 8 if your background is mostly white black then you should move the black input slider to the left to the right holding alt but I haven't experimented with that but you could try but I suggest doing it with a white background since I'm doing it with a white background and but you can do it later I guess so I put it to 158 click OK and you can see like his arm now and you can see a bit of his shirt and all so the next step is to create a new layer it'll be named layer 2 or whatever you want right click it again go to blending options again go back to this bottom slider and move the white to, to about 137 you won't be able to notice any changes this is a new layer but you'll notice the changes after this next step click the brush icon and you should ch like use a big brush or small brush whatever you want but just big brush is better like it looks better with this I'll use this blue and then change the color I'm doing this kind of fast since of time. I should look something cool like this. You should you should take more time on it and like do what you want with it. That's how it should look. And yeah. If you have any questions just message me or leave a comment and make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks. See ya.